Hello, hello. So right now I'm gonna teach you the method. I'm gonna show you the before and after. Before I'm getting 400 FPS. By the way, this is not bannable. You can use this and not get banned. This is all allowed. All right. Um, you get 400. I'm getting. I'm at 400 FPS using most of the PC power. I'm gonna triple that. It's. I'm not joking when I say triple that. We're gonna show the method. I'm gonna show the method one by one and show you how to triple the FPS. Okay, first thing you want to do is get a frost trap and then do these settings that I've applied, already applied them, I'll show them right now. First thing you want to do, go to integrations and scroll down. When you scroll down, disable Roblox futures. Um, disable these, not gonna lie, it's not really needed. You can keep this because it will break some things, uh, yeah. You wanna go to the bootstrapper if you have a high-end pc you can put this at high or real time if you want to but if you don't want to just uh, test it out you know it's the best way really you want to go to fast flags over here this is the most important part you want to put msaa at 1x you want to put pause for all this all this turn this on and on this, I'd recommend you to put it to performance, but I don't want the meshes to look bad. I'm going to put it to high quality and then put all of these bad. I'm at the lowest, which is bad looking. But um, you want to go to rendering mode. There is two things um, that you want to consider. Vulkan or Direct3D11. Um, OpenGL is garbage. It'll give you half of the FPS and it mostly is for like old 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 gpus like uh, dinosaur era type shit you know but anyways you have direct 3d which if you're using direct 3d you want to alt enter every time you leave roblox and then you join back you have to alt enter to make sure you're in full screen that gives you a 10 percent boost it'll give you it gave me 1200 fps but vulcan gave me 1300 to 1400 so use vulcan it works for most people but it does bug out some things usually you want to put level one for the quality graphics uh quality level and then you want to go to texture quality you want to put this to the lowest and you want to go to um the roblox settings over here you want to put the max quality off do not put that there is no reason to you want to put frame rate limit um limit to your uh, what is it called monitor i'd recommend you to but i'm gonna use this to just showcase how much we're gonna get i said i'm just gonna triple the fps i better show that right so we have full screen you want to put that on and yeah pretty much all of these and if you want text size you can change this i don't recommend other things honestly you can disable this and this it's not needed but if you want it keep it really there's no problem in it and yeah let's see if there is anything else you have to add you can add some fast flags but i'll add them down on the comments make sure to get them all right i'm gonna start now okay so we started at 400 now we tripled that straight up 1300 and it's using the same power even less power on the gpu uh usually it doubles your fps but if it shuffles your FPS, then I guess uh, a little, a little good specs. <clears throat> but I've seen it tripled my FPS and all. And this method works for pretty much all bootstrappers, but I do recommend Frost Trap because it has all of the settings, and even has settings where you can join back to the same server after leaving. Um, but you cannot join back to the private server. But yeah, everything clearly. The game looks absolutely um, not good, let's just say that. And everything is working pretty good, honestly. Like the FPS is 1300 compared to 400, that's crazy. And sometimes it uh, decreases your ping because of the texture quality like lowered and should decrease your ping by a very low margin, not that much really. But yeah. Thank you for watching, I really appreciate it, and 
thanks to everyone that subscribed i really see like the subscribers went high high i'm not gonna lie but thank you very much and if you want if you want to ask anything just ask it on the comments i'm gonna put everything down in the description uh in case but yeah bye